Attention, attention all ghosts. Report to your scare stations immediately. <laughs> Oh, 
skating races. Can I skate in the races too, Johnny? Huh, Johnny? Huh? Now, you know you can't skate, Billy. You better stay here and play with your snowman. Oh, gee. If I only knew how to skate. <clears throat> or perhaps I could be of some assistance. Did you say something, snowman? I most certainly did. Golly, you're a real life snowman. And I think I can teach you how to skate. You can? Sure enough. Now the first thing we have to do is find you a pair of ice skates. Billy, and do just as I do. Okay, Mr. Snowman. Left, right, left, right, that's fine. Keep going left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. Billy! What happened, Mr. Snowman? <laughs> I guess we just ran out of ice. show you what to do. That's it, Billy. Keep it up. You're doing swell. Mark, get set. 
Just won the Silver Skates Trophy. Gee, thanks! And bless Mommy, and Daddy, and Johnny, and Mr. Snowman. find a friend in the forest today. Must be a wind coming up. Gee, it's getting stronger and stronger. Wow, it must be a storm coming. For goodness sake, it's a giant who's <sighs> causing all the wind with his sighing. Whoop, a ghost. Wow, his hollering has caused a landslide. Don't be scared. Oh, I'm not scared. It's just that I got snow down my neck. Jeepers. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. My name's Hugo. I, I was sighing because I'm... I'm lonesome. I've got some wonderful animal friends who can cure your loneliness. Well, that sounds just dandy. I'll go ahead and tell them you're coming. Hi, friends. I've got a surprise for you. We're going to have a guest. Uh who? 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 There he is now. A giant. But he's very friendly. Couldn't he stay here for a while? Oh, yes, uh, why not? All of a sudden, I'm tired. Uh, uh, do you have a house uh, big enough for me to sleep in? Uh, no. I know, Hugo. You can sleep in that big cave. Thanks, fellas. Well, it's time we went to sleep, too. We'll never sleep with all that racket going on. Let's turn him on his side. Easy does it. He's quiet now. I guess we won't get much rest tonight. He twitches in his sleep. I don't know if it was such a good idea bringing him here, Casper. Oh, what a night. Couldn't sleep a wink all night. Yeah, that giant kept a twitching and a snoring. Uh, now for my morning exercises. One, two, three, four, five. There goes six, my house. Eight. Now I'm hungry. You wait here, Hugo. We'll bring you some food. Thank you, Casper. We'll have to get a lot of fruit and berries to feed him. I guess so. <laughs> Have you had enough breakfast, Hugo? Oh, well, I always eat a light breakfast. Uh, uh, but lunch and dinner, that's when I really eat. Casper, you wear us out fetching food for him. We'll run out of food for ourselves. We can't sleep. And besides, he might step on us. 
cash, but get rid of that giant. <laughs> you don't like me. <laughs> Help! It's a flood! Yes, but do something. Stop him from bawling. Gosh, I'll have to do something or I'll lose all my friends. Please, Hugo, stop crying. They weren't talking about you. They weren't? Well, I thought they were. No. Gee, I feel so glad. Uh, let me fix your house, Mr. Rabbit. There, it's all fixed. Help! Help! The lumberjacks are coming! Oh, no! How awful! They'll cut down all the trees. That sounds bad. Real bad. Which one should we start with? Look! A giant! You were expecting maybe Tom Thumb? Yeah! <laughs> I did good, huh, Casper? Uh, uh, tell me I did real good. You did good. Real, real good. Just the way a giant should. We, we love, love you so! Junior! You come home this very instant. That's my mama calling me. Uh, uh, goodbye now. i uh, uh, coming, mama! You shouldn't have run off from giant land like that, you naughty boy! Gee, I'm sorry, Mama. Nice boy, that Hugo. But I guess you're all kind of glad he's gone. Casper, <laughs> <laughs> Hugo was the nicest person you ever brought us. <laughs> I guess you just can't please all of the people all of the time. Good night, children. Good night, Mama. Yep, time for bed.
cup of coffee? You're a nice man. I like you. You're kind and you're generous. A gentleman and a scholar. A heart as big as your briefcase. What can I do for you? Your wish is my command. that bright and honest face of yours. You have such wonderful character, a typical example of integrity. And you're so generous with your hard-earned money. Police are searching for the bank clerk who skipped with a 
half million dollars in cash. There is still no clue to his whereabouts. Sir, you forgot your suntan oil. Allow me. My, but the natives are restless tonight. God, and this fine, wonderful face. It's a doll face. You're so good to me. You take me fishing. How can I repay you? Bake your hook, find you a fish, scrape your barnacles, get you a drink, a sandwich to eat, maybe? <laughs> Salt fish is very nice, but be careful of the bones. opinion. Answer me yes or no. Look. Should he be in the movies or not? No. Wait. Don't take him away. You got the wrong man. He's good, he's kind, he's generous. My buddy, my pal, ah, ah. Sure now, me little man. Here's the reward for you. You're a nice man, too. I like you. You're kind and you're generous. A gentleman and a scholar. A heart as big as a house. What can I do for you? Your wish is my command. And someday, you'll be surprised at how big and strong I'll be. Golly, if I were big and strong, they'd never do half the things they do now. <laughs> Uh-oh, an ogre. He's gonna scare someone, the meanie. <laughs> What's the big idea? Whoop. Nobody likes to be frightened, especially out of his sleep. Wow. Say, you're my cousin Powerhouse, aren't you? Casper, I was just on my way to visit you. Gosh, you sure are husky. Well, I made myself strong to fight bullies. I wish I could build up just to defend myself. Well, I've got a case full of exercising equipment I can give you. Wow. I wonder how that puny Casper's getting along with his exercises. Oh, let's try him on a lake again. <laughs> I guess the ghostly trio won't bother you anymore, Casper. I hope not. <laughs> 
That Casper think he is ordering us around. Out! Out, out, out! <laughs> Casper has exercised so hard, he's turned into a super ghost. They think I'm you, Casper. They believe you suddenly developed muscles. <laughs> That's a joke on them. Now that Casper has become more powerful than us, we've got to do some thinking. He'll stop us from our scare raids. Say, we've got to do exactly what he did. Huh? We'll exercise. We'll become powerful ourselves. Excuse me, powerhouse, while I go and see what the ghostly trio are up to. I'll be right back. Touch the ground without bending your knees, fatso. Oh, I don't see what difference it makes. Now for some weightlifting. Grab some logs. What? When they're all tired out from calisthenics? We've got to get as powerful as Casper. All right, all right. Hey, fellas, look. I can lift this big log real easy. I've become strong. Why, it's just a hollow, dried-out old log. Wise guy. <laughs> Casper, you're back to your normal, miserable size again. Oh, well, you see... I, I've learned to reduce or grow at will. But I'm still very powerful, so don't get funny with me. Yeah? Well, grow powerful right now. Uh, uh, uh first I have to get a running start. Oh, we think you're kidding us. Oh, no, I'm not. Let me take care of this. Convinced? Now, uh, we're convinced. Well, Casper, it was nice visiting with you, but I've got to be leaving now. Golly, so soon. I'm sure glad you came, Powerhouse. You keep exercising and you'll really get big and strong. I sure will. Goodbye, Cousin Powerhouse. So long, Casper. Uh-oh. Fatso's been listening. He must know how we fooled him. Wait till the guys hear this. Where you been, you loafer? We've been exercising like crazy. Let's throw him in the lake. Wait, let me explain. Casper's a fake. What did you say? Casper had a powerful cousin visiting him. So, that said. Are you sure, Fatso? I saw both of them. Then that powerful guy took off and left. Left, huh? <laughs> then that leaves Casper to us. I've got to think of something to make them think I can grow big. But what can I do? That's it. My paints. I'll have to hurry. They'll be coming home soon and they'll be real mad. Now that we're mad enough, we'll scare the living daylights out of that Casper. Oh, I hear them coming. I hope my scheme works. Now, he's bigger than ever. I sure am. Would you like to make something of it? <laughs> uh, please don't hurt us, Casper. <laughs> we didn't mean nothing. <laughs> they thought I was standing in front of the real house instead of this cutout painting I made. And to top it off, the exercising I did really developed a muscle. Morning, paper!
I wish I could find a friend. Scat, go on, beat it! Black cancer or uh, bad luck! <laughs> Gee, he said black cats are bad luck. <laughs> You're friendly. Uh, uh, I'm going to call you Lucky. What you need is a good luck charm. Let's find a four-leaf clover.
surprise for you kids. Okay, fellas, follow me. Well, here we are, boys.
let's get old 99 rolling. Things. I gotta relax. My knives are getting me. like a mouse, Doc. <clears throat> Young man, you are a victim of mousetrophobia. Mousetrophobia? Correct. You, you, you mean I'm going nuts, Doc? I ain't got all my marbles? Precisely. Oh, save me, Doc! Save me! Well, you can return to normal by making amends to those poor little mice you've treated so shamefully. I'll do it! I'll do anything! Confucius say, there is more than one way to skin cat. Come on, climb it, rock it, and roll it! Baba ba -ba boo Hey, Catnip, how about some more track? Okay, fellas, more track coming up. Huh? I think I smell a mouse. Uh-oh. <laughs> Try to drive me goofy, huh? <laughs> Like Confucius say, 
That cat's real gone.
Tish, tish. A wish is a wish. Tell him about your poor little flowers. But, Mr. Rainmaker, my flowers need showers. So, ape on the hill, you soon will be crowned of daffodil. Daffodil. So, keep on looking for a bluebird and listening for his song. When Emperor April showers come Robin? be afraid. It would be so nice to have a party. Hello, my name is Casper. What's yours? Ah! Gee, there's a friendly looking fellow. Hello, mister. My name is Casper. Ah! I go! some friendly people in fairy tale land. Please, Mr. Humpty. 
Humpty Dumpty. Won't you come to my birthday party? Ghost! The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, all throwing our way out to sea. Will you gentlemen come to my birthday party? Hello! Gee, I wish people wouldn't get scared when they see me. Sang a song of six, pants a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. Hello, Mr. Pieman. Will you please come to my party? A ghost! <laughs> oh, it's no use. I guess I just won't have a birthday party after all. Surprise! Happy birthday, Gasper! <laughs> Golly! A surprise party! Gasper, the friendly ghost, the friendliest ghost you know. Make a wish, Casper, then blow out the candles. He always says hello. And he's really glad to meet you wherever he may go. He's kind to every living creature. Grown ups don't understand what you love him the most. But he's all alone and he loves him so. That's where the friendly goes.